the three-mile-high tsunami that smashed into the east coast. In the past few generations, the world has experienced some severe natural disasters. Of all the natural disasters, however, few are as deadly or as unexpected as a tsunami. Tsunamis are usually caused by geological activities outside human control, resulting in them being quite surprising when they do happen. Although the tsunamis that humans have experienced throughout our history have been bad, one tsunami that happened a few million years ago easily topped them all. Let's discover the largest tsunami that has ever happened on Earth. What was the largest tsunami to have ever occurred? The largest tsunami to have ever occurred happened 66 million years ago and ushered in the end of the dinosaur and the start of a new biological era for the Earth. Before we say just how big this tsunami was, let's understand its relative size in reference to waves that have happened in recent human history. The largest and deadliest in human history. The largest tsunami in recent human history occurred in 1958 off the coast of Alaska, in Latuya Bay. This immense wave was nearly 1,700 feet high and swamped 5 square miles of land, clearing hundreds of thousands of trees. Incredibly, only two people died during this monster of a wave. The largest and deadliest in human history, Kant. The deadliest tsunami in human history occurred in 2004 on December 26. An earthquake in the Indian Ocean sent a wave 100 feet high, rolling across the extremely populated coast of Sumatra. Within hours, nearly 230,000 people died. The size of the largest tsunami ever. Even these monumental waves, despite their size or death toll, don't compare to the largest in geological history. That tsunami occurred when the dinosaur-killing asteroid hit the Earth. This asteroid is estimated to have been around 6 miles in diameter and struck the Earth with the energy of 100 teratons worth of TNT. The largest nuclear bomb ever had 2 millionths the energy. Taller than the Alps. Once the asteroid hit, it sent a 3-mile-high wave radiating out from the impact zone, destroying anything within a few hundred miles. For reference, the wall of water would have been the same height as the total distance run in a professional 5K race. Even more, it would have been taller than the Alps in Europe. A wall of water as tall as a mountain range is the stuff of nightmares. Don't worry. Thankfully, nothing today is likely to cause a mega tsunami the size of that one. In fact, the event that caused the tsunami was so huge that the monstrous wave was probably the least of surviving animals' worries at the time. The cause. The cause of the wave was a massive asteroid that slammed into Earth, traveling 30 kilometers per second or 67,108 miles per hour. The asteroid struck Earth just north of the modern-day Yucatan Peninsula, right in the Gulf of Mexico. The impact was so strong that it left a crater in the seafloor large enough for us to see today. This large asteroid was the famous one that initiated the fall of the dinosaurs nearly 66 million years ago. The end of the dinos. Once the asteroid hit with the power of 2 million Tsar Bomba, the largest nuclear bomb to have ever been made, it sent the wave radiating outwards. Additionally, a cloud of debris entered the sky, killing most plant life and dropping the temperate of the entire globe. With the death of most plant life and a change in climate, large dinosaurs simply couldn't survive long term. Even if they did survive the blast, where did the mega tsunami hit? After the initial impact of the asteroid, the tsunami would have immediately begun traveling outward in a radius. Besides evaporating almost anything nearby, the residual wave would have traveled north and impacted the coastline of the Gulf of Mexico, including the modern-day states of Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. By the time the wave reached the coast, it would have been around one mile high, followed by subsequent ripples. The ripples would have been around 1 kilometer apart from each other and averaged 16 meters tall. Did anything survive the mega tsunami? Although life on Earth did survive the impact of the asteroid and the ensuing complications, it would have had to be some distance away from the strike zone. Anything within range of the initial blast would have been vaporized, and any animals living along the modern-day Gulf of Mexico would have been killed by the wave that swept through. Some animal life could have survived further inland, but no large animals along the coast are likely to have made it. Thank for watching.